I can't explain why it happens, but I, I've got sort of a permanent jukebox in my head, which uh, actually goes back to the 40s. In terms of my head, if I sort of turn back the ages, in the 1940s, we, I don't think we had a television for a long time. And the first television that I saw was one that my grandmother used to watch. It had a screen about this big, and she used to sit right in front of it like that and watch it. And that was the television of those days. Then, um, so we listened to the radio a lot. And I remember, you know, things like the Lone Ranger and stuff. And uh, uh, they had, you know, signature songs. But we used to listen to the ads a lot. For example, Pepsi Cola hits the spot. 12 full ounces, that's a lot. Twice as much for a nickel, too. Pepsi Cola is the drink for you. And you know what? That's in comparison to Coca Cola, it was only six ounces. And that was also a nickel, it was just five cents. So you could get double the amount of Pepsi for five cents. So the, the jingle was perfect, spot on. And then uh, one that Janaki loves is tender beef, <laughs> juicy pork. From Philadelphia to New York, Swift's Premium Franks, Swift's Premium Franks. So these kind of things live in my head, and then it just goes on from there. I, mean, I, uh, I remember Nat King Cole songs that my mother used to listen to. Uh, I, it, it, and then there's just an entire repertoire up until the, my school years when people were coming from the, the missionary kids went home every two years to America and they'd come back with these 44, uh, 45 RPM records, these little tiny ones. And we had these players where you could put a stack of 10 records on. So Elvis Presley and, uh, ah, gosh, I, I didn't remember uh, Chuck Ferry and uh, Everly Brothers and he said, you know, there's just hundreds of hundreds of songs we may have heard. Then they can, I, I can recall them by a certain trigger, like either a certain word or someone says something. And this trigger will, and luckily I keep quiet about it, but sometimes I just can't resist and I have to come out with it and everyone sort of <laughs> moans and groans at hearing one of these songs from 40 or 50 years ago. But they're there, they're all there.